Hey everyone, welcome back to Pavli. And in this video, you are going to learn an amazing automation which will let you collect the contact details of any person from the emails you're receiving from them and add those person into Go High Level application automatically. So suppose that you are receiving queries or feedbacks from your customers or clients on daily basis via emails and you want that the persons who are sending those emails to you should be added in Go High Level application, which is a, uh, which is a marketing tool uh, mainly used by marketing agencies so that you can, uh, you can engage those customers of yours and grow your revenue. Okay. So this automation will allow you to do this automatically. Now let me show you how it is going to work. So this is how it is going to work guys. As in when you will receive an email from any of your prospect or customer, the, the data, the contact details will be fetched out from the, those emails and the same person who have sent you the email will be added as a, added as a new contact and go high level application automatically. And to make this happen, we are using Pavli Connect, which is an integration and automation tool. And guys, the best part of setting up this automation is that you will not require any kind of coding skills or programming knowledge. So anyone can set up this automation easily. So now let's set up this automation together. So guys, the first step to set up this automation is to log in into your Pavli Connect account. And for this, uh, you can check the link that we have pasted in the description for you from where you can set up your free Pabli Connect account in just two minutes and that will give you 100 free automation tasks for every new month. Okay. After that, you can log in and reach the dashboard of Pabli Connect here like this. And on this uh, and from here, from this dashboard, you have to create a workflow to start creating the automation. So to create a workflow, you just have to click here on this create workflow button. And here you can give any suitable name to your workflow. So let me fill the name here. So I have given the name to this workflow as add contact details extracted from emails into go high level application. Okay. Now you can click here on this create button and you can see your workflow getting created here like this. And on this page, you will find these two things, the trigger and the action. So this automation is going to, is going to work on these two things. So the trigger is happening of any event. So it is saying when this happens and the action is the response to the trigger. So it is saying do this. All right. So as in our use case, the trigger would be a new email coming to our inbox in Gmail application and the action or the response to the trigger would be to extract out the de contact details of the person from the email and send it into go high level. Okay. So first of all, you have to set up your trigger here and guys, uh, before extracting the contact details of any person from the emails uh, you are receiving, first you need to capture the whole emails here in Pavli Connect. For that, we, you can use a feature by Pavli which is called Email Parser. So Email pars Parser will allow you to forward the emails that you're receiving in the inbox of your Gmail application to this address that it has given. Okay. So all the emails that you are going to receive in your uh, Gmail application will be forwarded to this address and will and the data of those emails will be received here in this response section of Pabli Connect here only. Okay, let me show you how we can use uh, this forwarding feature or email parser feature by Pabli. So guys, first of all, you have to uh, reach the inbox of your Gmail account from which you want to fetch out the emails. Okay. So guys, this is uh, the inbox of one of my Gmail account and the account holder name is Ashi Rai. Okay. And I want that as and when I receive any mail from my customer or client here, I want to forward that mail here in Pabli Connect to this address. Okay. For that, you have to reach to the settings of your Gmail. Click on settings icon. Okay. And then click on see all settings. Okay. And from here, you will find this forwarding and pop IMAP option. Click on forwarding and pop IMAP. Okay. And here you have this option forward a copy of incoming mail to uh, here. You have to enter this address guys. Okay. So let me first remove this, the already pasted address we have. I'm going to remove this. Okay. Right. So that's how you will find this button here. Add a forwarding address. Click on add a forwarding address. Okay, then you have to copy this email address from Pabli Connect like this and you have to paste this address here in this field. Okay, then click on next. 
Okay, so from this window, you have to select, uh, so you have to click on proceed and a verification code will be sent here. You can see as, a, as you have copied this email address in Pabli, it started showing this waiting for the email parser's response. So now when you click here on add a forwarding address and paste the email address here and then click on next and from here as you are going to click on proceed, a, a code, a verification code will be sent to that email address and you will see it in Pabli Connect. Let me show you. I'm clicking on proceed here and you can see a confirmation code has been sent to this address to verify permission then click on OK here and reach to public connect and you can see this is the response or the code you have received in the response received section you will receive this response and from here when you scroll down and find a label which is called body text this is the body text okay and from here you will get the confirmation code as this so you have to copy this code okay and reach back to your uh, uh, gmail account and put the verification code here in this field okay then click on verify okay so you can see this forwarding address is verified here okay now if you want to keep a copy of that email here in this inbox you can keep a copy or you can directly uh, forward the email so i am uh, making it as keep a copy in gmail application also now scroll down and uh, okay guys one second before scrolling down you have to uh, click on this uh, checkbox or button okay you don't have to disable this you have to enable this by clicking here like this then scroll down and click on save changes here okay and now you can see you are forwarding your emails to this address is written here so we have applied the forwarder and now this email parser is going to fetch out the details of any email you are receiving in that inbox to here. Okay, let me show you how. I am clicking on recapture email parser response here. Click on yes. And it will start waiting for email parser response again. Now I am going to open another email account. I have opened actually. This is my another email account. This account belongs to Mr. Michael Karas. Okay. And here, from this account, I'm going to send an email. So suppose that he is one of my customer or client and he's sending an email to me at this account. Okay, so let me compile an email here. I'm putting here the, in the address Ashirai in the subject, a query. Okay, and I'm typing an email here. So I have compiled an email here like this. It, uh, it is a customer asking any or a client asking any query here okay so i am clicking on send and you can see the message is sent here and we will we are going to receive this email in this account okay here and the same email will be forwarded to pabli connect okay here we are going to receive the email here you and you can see the email is received in the response section and we got a copy here also let me show you we got a copy here and this, this same email, this same email that we have just received is fetched here with the help of email parser in front of you like that, like this, okay? And here you will find this de all these details, the subject, okay? And uh, when you scroll down, it will show you uh, from whom you got this email and in this header, you will find this data and in the body text, you will find the whole email, okay? Now, we want that this person who have sent us this email will be added into my go high level application which is a, a marketing tool for marketing agencies many people use it to uh, convert their clients into their customers or, or prospects into their customers okay so for that we need to fetch out the contact details of the person from whom we have received the emails and we are going to fetch uh, those contact details by some features of pabli so uh, first of all i'm going to apply a filter to ensure that uh, actually i want that uh, we are receiving many emails from many people but we do not want to fetch the details of all the emails here we want that the emails from the customers or the clients or the leads or the prospects will be fetched here not all the emails for that what you can do you can ensure you can apply a filter here and I'm applying a filter 
in which I am going to select the subject label. Here you will find the subject label. Let me show you. Here you can see we have this header subject label. So I'm going to use this label to apply a filter. So here it is asking in the filter option select label. So when you click here, you will find this email parser step, which was our first step. And when you click on it, you will find all the details that you have received in the first step. And when you scroll down, you will find the subject label, click uh, select the subject label and make the filter type contains and put the value here like query. Okay. And I'm going to apply or condition here. I'm clicking on or condition and I'm selecting the subject label again from the trigger. This is the subject. I'm making the filter type as contains. So uh, I want that when a query or a query is received or a feedback is received. Okay. So when the subject contains feedback, then we want to fetch the emails and when the subject uh, uh, contains query, then we want to fetch the uh, email or you can apply many multiple conditions here. Okay. And when you click uh, on save and send test request, it will show you this. Okay. That the status is success and the condition is true. So when any of the condition makes true means that whenever a subject is a query related to query or a subject of the email related to feedback or a subject is related to any uh, integration or anything the, according to the filter you have applied, then the condition will met true and the workflow will continue. Okay. So after fetching the details of an email and applying these filters, we want to add the person who have sent this email in go high level application. For that, you have to connect the go high level application in the action step here. For that, click here on this plus icon and another, another action step will open up. And from here, you have to search for go high level. Okay, so this is go high. Let me show you. It is actually high level here, which is the older name of that application. This is high level. Okay. And in the action event, you have to select for create contact option. So it will create a new contact there. Then click on connect. And from this window, select add new connection. And here it will ask for this token to be entered to make the connection. So guys, to locate the token, you have to go to your high level account and in the settings in the company, you will find this token or the API key. So let me show you how you can find this. So guys, this is my high level applications dashboard. And here I'm going to click on this profile icon. Sorry, not here. Uh, I think you will find this. Uh, let me read the instructions again. Uh, these are the instructions you will find the uh, token in high level account settings company. Okay. So you find the settings here. This is the settings I can click on settings. So in this settings page, you can see we are un under this company tag and under this company tag, when you scroll down, you will find this API key right here. Okay. So yeah, you can generate a new key by clicking on regenerate key, or you can use the same key by clicking here on this copy icon and paste this key here in this token field like this. Okay. And then click on save and you will be connected with high le level application like this. Okay. Now it is asking for the first name, the last name, the full name uh, and the email address and these phone numbers. Okay. So these are the things you need to enter to create a contact here. So uh, we got the details of our, uh, of our lead or of our client here in this first step like this. So we got the name here and the address email address here. Okay. So I'm going to map both of these things here in this step. Okay. So I'm leaving this first or last name thing uh, field blank. And in the full name I'm entering, I'm going to map the full name. Okay. So to map the full name, you just have to click here and you will find this email parser step, the first step. And from here, you will find the full name of the sender of the email and the, in the email address, you will, you can map the email address of the sender like this. Okay. And these are the, uh, these are not compulsory things. If you have this data, you can enter this data, but we have, uh, we are fetching the details, contact details out from email. So we got these two things only the name and the email address. Okay. So we have mapped these two things. Now uh, I'm going to check my connection. If my connection with high level is working properly or not. So I'm going to click on save and send test request and a new contact will be created here in this contacts list. You can see 
I'm opening the contacts list. So these are the contacts already I have. Now let me click here on save and send test request and we will see if a new contact get created here or not. And you can see this is, this is the response that we have received here. Now let me show you in high level application. I'm refreshing the contacts page. And you can see a new contact named as Michael Karas is added here like this. Okay, so our connection with uh, Go High Level is working properly. And now let me give you a quick recap what we have done here. So first of all, in this trigger, I connected email parser. I used email parser feature by Pabli to fetch the details of emails from my inbox to here in Pabli Connect. And after that, I applied a filter here according to the subject because I do not want to fetch out all the emails I'm receiving. I want to fetch out some emails which have the subjects like these. If the subject contains a query related issue, a feedback issue, or you can apply multiple filters here by clicking on or conditions. Okay. And according to that filter, we are going to filter out the emails. After that, I connected high level application and map the data required to create a contact there. And we have seen that the connection was proper. And guys, you have to set up this automation only once you have to make the connections and map the data only once after that, you don't have to do anything manually. The uh, after that, as and when you are going to receive any email, the according to the filter, the emails will be parsed out here and a new contact will be added in high level. Let me show you a real time example, guys. So this is the account of Michael Karas and I'm going to uh, send a new email to this account to Ashi Rai in which I have can, uh, added a forwarder okay, or an email parser. And we will see as and when this account is going to receive an email, a new contact will be added here automatically. Okay, so let me delete this contact from here. So you can see I have deleted the contact. Okay, and these are the contacts remained. Okay. Now I'm going to Michael Karas account and here I'm composing another email to Ms. Ashirai. Okay. And the subject is feedback. Okay. And let me type the email here. So guys, I have typed this email. It is a feedback kind of email and this is the feedback I have given. And now I'm going to click on send and the message is sent. You can see now you have to do, you don't have to do anything manually. Now you just have to check your high level account and a contact will be created there automatically. Okay. So let me show you, I'm going to my high levels account and I'm going to refresh this contacts page here. And here you can see guys, this contact Michael Karas gets get automatically added here. Okay. No need to do any manual work. So this is how it is going to work in real time. And guys, the best part is you can use this same workflow that I've just created because I'm going to paste the link of the same workflow in the description so that you can clone it in your own free Pavli Connect account and start using this automation instantly. Guys, thank you so much for watching our video and please, please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section. And if you have any queries related to this application, please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link. And guys, we are open to ideas. If you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business, please do let us know in the comment section. And if you like our work, please subscribe to our channel.